let's have a look at some resonance in a piece of string here I've got a piece of wool and we've had to use a piece of wool so you can see it on the camera much easier and this is a speaker connected to a signal generator and when we turn it on we get a particular pattern produced of a standing wave. Let's have a look and see how we do this experiment. Resonance in a piece of string. I have not a piece of string but I've got here a piece of wool. Uh, we've chosen a dark piece of wool to try and show this a bit easier to you and it's got a small weight attached to it to keep it taut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to suspend that over a pulley to keep some tension in the wool. The wool is attached to a vibration generator at the far end. The vibration generator is simply a speaker with a pole attached to the speaker so as the speaker moves in and out so this string is moved up and down. I've got to choose suitable frequencies from a signal generator and this is going to start producing frequencies around about 11 Hertz, 11, 12 Hertz and let's see what happens to the string. Well, we've got a lot of noise and the string is sort of vibrating. As I turn up the frequency, we can see that it starts to make an interesting shape. We've got here a fixed point, but we also seem to have a point here which is not moving. So we have nodes and anti-nodes. We've got the points where they're not moving, virtually stationary at this point, and here we have it moving a large distance. Hard to see on the camera because the way the cameras work. Let's increase the frequency. As I increase the frequency, so we're getting more stationary points formed. So here I've got one, two, that gives me three waves, one, two, and three. Change it up a little bit, uh, probably about the best I can get for this one, about 24 hertz. Then it sort of disappears and we've got a change. I've got one, two, three points, that's giving me four waves, that's at 30 hertz. Makes a better sound if you can get it just right, so that's 31.55 hertz. Move it up a bit more. And about 39.7 Hertz, one, two, three, four stationary points and five waves. One, two, three, four, five stationary points gives us six waves. What we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Out there, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So that's seven waves. Let's do a fine bit of adjustment. One, two, three, four, five, six again. Difficult to tell what's happening there. The wall does not make this particularly easy to use. And as we go up, so you can see more waves appear. And an artifact of the camera is that you can sometimes see interesting changes that I can't. And at this sort of point, basically I can't see any more changes because the waves have got too small to see. Whereas at a lower frequency, we can see much clearer shapes of the waves and by changing the amplitude very slightly changing the frequency very slightly I can get the waves to form quite nicely by varying the length of the string that changes the wavelength so this only works for the particular length that we've got here and there we have our resonance our standing waves on a piece of wool